So, we're here cooking pasta out in the hood in Akron, Ohio. So, we got a great big mess here cooking with ingredients from the hood. Uh, we got spaghetti sauce that we're cooking over here. And I cut up another tomato and put that, threw that in there. So, we got that cooking. And now, we're going to put some... Uh, nasty onion in here that I found. I'm not sure where this came from, but it was in my fridge. You know. Woo-wee! That's some disgusting uh, garlic. So we're gonna put that in there. Look at that. Nasty old moldy garlic. So we're gonna put a little bit of that in there because we're gonna try to get, we're gonna have some fun with this. And then we're gonna feed it to my mom. So what you do is the, so the garlic is nasty where it's like slimy and stuff. And so you can just kind of like squeeze that out like that. It just squeezes out because it's so old and it, uh, nasty, it's just, Disgusting. It's been in there. It just squeezes right out like that, like paste. It's kind of like squeezing um, a tube of toothpaste, and then that shit just squeezes right out. And then you always want to wash your hands immediately because that stench of onion will be on there for weeks if you don't. So I always take uh, laundry soap that we fill, we fill these bottles with laundry soap because we're too poor to afford uh, um, deter dish soap or whatever it's called. And it, I don't even know what it's called anymore. And then you just put it on this and you scrub your fingers with that. And that, that will get the scent off. And so it'll only last about a day. So we got the um, moldy garlic in there and now we're going to oh and I found this uh, it's a from Chipotle I don't know that's really old and it smells terrible it, like it's got like this tangy nasty smell it's great oh yeah it, we're throwing that in there oh yeah uh, it's it's made from that uh, Mexican fruit, the green one, I forgot what it's called, it looks like. It's kind of like tomatoes, but they're not tomatoes. It looks like they've been charred boiled a bit. So hopefully that adds like a wonderful flavor to that. To this delicious slop of tomato goulash Akron hood style I also want to put some top ramen seasoning in there the chicken flavor if we can find any usually we have sometimes we have some packages just laying around in here some old packages okay here we go so we get what you want to do to add like flavor chicken flavor is ridiculous you can add this to anything and what you do is you just take it out of the top ramen here. Um, you just want to like get open up the package, and you got these flavor these chicken flavorings. But you don't want to put too much because this stuff is just like pure salt. If one of these is like ten days worth of sodium, so usually I just put a little bit and then I save it, the packages, and then cover it so they become old and nasty and then they, that's when they become like sticky and delicious like honey kind of so like you want to just like put a teeny bit of there in there for flavoring you sprinkle a little bit of the chicken flavoring Ooh. You don't, make sure you don't want to drop that in there like I just did so you just put a, just a little bit of that in there because too much it would just be nasty it just tastes like um, nasty top ramen and if you drop that in there you just wipe it off so you can put it back in your cabinet and then 
um, what you want to do while that's cooking is you want to try to figure out more ingredients you can put in there. Um, let's see, what more do I got that I could put in there? I already put wine, salsa, um, another type of salsa from Chipotle, ketchup, um, slayed onions. Ooh, I got something. Uh, a random bag of uh, pesto just chilling in my fridge for who knows how long it's been in there. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> I wish you could all smell that. That is quite an experience. That's ridiculous. So basically, you want to just take it by, by your fingers. It's kind of like putty like that. And then you just want to like um, put it in there. You don't want to put too much because this stuff is overpowering. So you, I put like two, two pinches in there. Now let's put a third one. <laughs> oh, it's gross. But it'll be really delicious in pasta. Ugh. Because, um, I don't know why, what the, <laughs> why anybody would <laughs> use this stuff. <laughs> um, but I'm, it's, it'll turn out delicious. And then I got a secret ingredient. My secret ingredient is kitty cat. <laughs> kitty, kitty. <laughs> no, but really. So my secret ingredient is chocolate. Chocolate. What this will? What? It's just one Hershey's bar, because. This is Mexican style, actually. This will create a mole sauce. So you, you don't want too many, but you just get like one little chocolate bar and you break that up. And you just throw it in there. You throw the chocolate in the in the pasta sauce. So you got, we're, today we're using a high quality chocolate. It's something that we don't normally, some better light, that we can't normally afford in the hood which is Hershey's chocolate. Hershey's we can afford in the hood, even though it's high quality chocolate. And because we've been blessed to be growing up here in America. Um, let's see what else I could put in there. I wonder if that's enough substance, if that's enough crap I could put in there to do it, to kind of stretch it and make it into a meal for a couple of days. Mmm, delicious. Uh, it still doesn't look like sauce, it just looks like salsa. So we're gonna let that cook for a while until it looks like pasta. Yuck. And until it tastes like sauce. I'm not sure what to do from here. I feel like I put everything possible that I could find in my cabinets and fridge and stuff. Um, yeah.